how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I'm back doing another three looks, one palette video, this time on the beautiful BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I've already done a standalone first impressions tutorial using it. I will try to remember to link it down below. I'm really bad at remembering that. If you want to check that out just to see an additional look, but otherwise you saw I used the blues to create that really pretty blue half cut crease. I used this pretty neon green color to create another cut crease, and then I used the pinks and that smoky charcoal color to create this look that you see right here. I truly love this palette. It is so affordable and you can just create so many looks. The shadows are all bomb. Totally worth picking up if you don't already have it. If you want some inspiration on some looks to do, then just keep watching. You and me are bored of regularities. Going in right away with electric, I'm just going to start running that all through my crease, focusing it especially on the outer corner, but really just buffing it everywhere. Next, I'm going to pick up Palooza, and I'm going to focus that more in the outer corner of the eye, bringing it in once I have less product on the brush, and then just going back through with a little bit more of that pink shade to help blend everything out. I'm going to take more of a precise brush to really build and intensify that Palooza shade right in the crease and then just buffing it out. Going in next with Trance, I'm gonna be really precise and just really pack that in the crease and outer corner, taking it a little under the lower lash line as well. Just taking my time and building up that blue until it looks the way that I want it to, and then buffing it out with that brush that I used, Palooza. I just really want that outer corner to be nice and deep and blue. Taking Wicked, I'm just gonna pop that in the inner half of the lower lash line. Taking my ColourPop White No Filter Concealer, I'm gonna begin to do a half cut crease. I'm just gonna drag that concealer all in the crease, stopping it about where that blue in the outer corner is starting to build up. Next, I'm gonna take Ultimate, and I'm gonna start packing that right on the middle of where the concealer and the dark blue meet, and then taking the shade Spirit, I'm going to pack that on the remaining portion of the lid that there's no shadow. And then just packing a little more Ultimate to help blend everything out, and then popping Trixie in my inner corner. This next step is totally optional, but I'm taking Pixie Diamond Dew from Lime Crime, and I'm popping a little bit of that glitter along where that cut crease is, stopping it about where that deepness of the blue begins. And then going in with my Iconic Light Lashes from House of Lashes and taking my Dose of Colors Warm and Fuzzy Liquid Lipstick and popping that all over my lips. And then taking some of Jeffree Star's Thirst Trap Liquid Lipstick and then just popping that in the middle portion of the upper and lower lip. And that's it for this look. Only come out and Going in right away with candy, I'm just gonna start running that all through my crease, buffing it out, blowing it out nice and big. Not being too precise, you can be a little sloppy, just get that color down, and I'm gonna run a little bit of the leftover from the brush under my lower lash line. Going in next with Escape, I'm just gonna do pretty much the same thing, just keeping that tucked a little bit tighter in the immediate crease, just really blending and buffing it out, and then going back with that first brush again to help keep everything nice and diffused. Next, I'm taking Hipster, and I'm just keeping that really, really tight and focused in that crease. And then I'm going to buff it out with the second brush we used, and then I'm going to go even tighter with a small pencil brush just to really get that nice and deep in the crease. I'm gonna buff it out with that first brush we were using to lay this darkest shade down, and then I'm gonna go back with that very first brush to blend it all out. Going in with my white no filter concealer from ColourPop, I'm going to start cutting out the crease, going a little above my natural crease and dragging that concealer all the way down. Going in next with Neon, I'm just packing that all over where we place that concealer. Next with a pencil brush, I'm taking Escape, that second brown shade we used, and just smoking that out on the lower lash line. And then taking a smaller, more precise brush, I'm gonna take Hipster and just really tightly place that next to the lower lash line. 
blending it out with that pencil brush. Last, going in with Magical, I'm going to pop that in my inner corner before taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and drawing a big old wing. Taking my Iconic Light Lashes, I'm going to pop those on and my Jeffree Star Thick as Thieves Liquid Lipstick. And that is going to be it for this look. Going in first again with candy, I'm going to just start buffing that all through the crease, focusing it mostly in the outer corner and underneath the lower lash line, but I still want that laid all through the crease. Picking up Dippy next, I'm going to focus that on the inner portion of the crease with a small precise brush, and then once that color is laid down, I'm going to take that first brush and start blending it out into the candy shade. I'm also going to grab a clean brush to help blend as well. Picking up the shade Carnival, I'm focusing that on the outer third of the eye. I really wanted to just have that cool metallic gray as the deep portion of the eye. And again, taking that first brush to help buff and blend everything out. Taking the shade Solstice, I'm just going to pack that all over the lid up into the Carnival shade. Switching back and forth between Carnival and Solstice to get the blend that I want. Next, I'm going to pick up my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and draw a ginormous wing. And next, with my Marc Jacobs Blacker Highliner Pencil, I'm going to place and smudge the liner on the outer half of the lower lash line and waterline. I'm going to begin to smoke that out with just a clean pencil brush, and then I'll be picking up a little bit of Carnival to help smoke it out as well. With a little bit of Carnival, I'm using a precise brush to extend my lower lash line and give me a wide-eyed effect. And then picking up Euphoria, I'm going to place that gold right up to where that new false lower lash line is. And a little bit up into my inner corners as well. And last, picking up Trixie, I'm going to pop that in my inner corner on top of Euphoria. Next, I'm using my House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes again and my Trust Issues Liquid Lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'll be honest, this isn't my favorite liquid lipstick formula at all, but it was the only color I had that was close to what I wanted. But use whatever you have. You know you can do whatever you want. That is it. Those are all my looks. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love what I created. I really love this palette. Again, pick it up if you haven't already. Totally recommend. You won't be disappointed. If you enjoyed this three looks one palette video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know that you like these. I love filming these. They're probably some of my favorite videos to film because I can just really get in my zone, create some looks, leave some suggestions down below on which palettes you want me to use next. I always run polls on Twitter and Instagram stories on which palette you want me to use next. So make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram. It is Butte Bean. Twitter's Butte Bean with an underscore. If you're not already following me so you can participate in my polls and the decision making and if you just want to see what's going on in my life don't forget to subscribe before you leave I post every Monday Wednesday Friday let me know what other videos you want to see on my channel thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one okay bye then just keep watching why'd my voice crack and that is it